Level 10. Level 10 is the 11th level of the back rooms and takes the resemblance of an infinite wheat field. Survival difficulty, class 1. Safe. Secure. Minimal entity count. Description. Level 10 takes the shape of a wheat field that seemingly stretches out for infinity, similar to level 9, a large unpaved dirt path leading north and south are present. Luckily, the wheat grown at this level is also safe for eating and usage. Small puddles of sweetened almond water can be found frequently when exploring level 10. And the chronological time in this level is always noon, meaning that it cannot become night or fully day within level 10, and unlike level 9 this level has weather events, sometimes it can be foggy, cloudy, and even rain. Though this level doesn't only consist of an infinite wheat field, when you explore this level, you will come across a lot of miscellaneous and strange objects or buildings in the distance. It might be a struggle to fully view it as fog usually tends to block the visibility. Though the important part of these buildings is to not come near them at any given circumstance, there is an event where sobbing and crying can be subtly heard inside of these houses. People have tried to enter these houses and went missing right after it. It is also theorized that these ominous buildings might, just might take you to level 9 or level 7, however, this is yet to be confirmed and is highly disregarded. When you walk down the narrow dirt path you will first see houses that resemble barns and stables in the distance, unlike the houses listed before. These locals are entirely safe for exploring and shouldn't be any cause of concern in any sort of way. These stalls appear to be abandoned, animal fur and hay can be commonly found within these stables, and sometimes animal noises may be heard very non-distinctive. Tractors and other farming utilities may also be found. Entities in this level differ compared to the previous levels, you'll very rarely encounter them here. Smilers, skin stealers, death rats, hounds, and hostile facelings are all verified entities that have been documented to roam around level 10, though these are very rare circumstances, and should be taken with a grain of salt. There are also unique entities that can only be seen at this level alone. One of these entities can be found on top of towers present on this level, these towers are constructed of stone and seemingly built during the medieval era. These towers are safe to explore when these entities are gone, they usually call themselves the archers. When you are nearby a tower and hear the first trumpet roar, try to get out of the local quickly as that signifies that they are present, if you hear the second trumpet go off. That signalizes that they are not present within the area no longer. The second unique entity that you may encounter takes resembles obese creatures that tend to walk around the fields, they are known as the glove. Gluffs are present, in order to grow crops in the fields, they emit droplets of sweet almond water, which explains the strange puddles of almond water lying around in the earth. These entities are friendly and do not cause any harm towards humanoid species interacting with them. Colonies and Outposts There is currently an estimate of over four colonies and outposts residing at this level. Entering level 10. The main way to enter this level is surprisingly easy, just go off the sidewalk to the fields in level 9, and you will eventually find yourself here. Following the procedures in level 12 and entering through the door will have a chance to get you to this level also. Leaving level 10. In order to exit this level, you will have to find bunkers, which are rarely seen in this level that possibly can lead you to level 1, level 2, level 3, or level 14. Though, some claim that a few houses present within this level may lead you to level 0, level 5, level 7 or level 9.